conflicted? Attorney General Avichai Mandelblit holds the future of Israeli politics in his hands. Is he beholden to the prime minister who put him in a position of power? Many who know him say the law is all Mandelblit is guided by. This is someone who has lived his life uh, in the military, in the world of law, again with a short stint uh, being in political aid, but someone who is very, very committed to the process, very, very committed to the professions that he's been involved in. Mandelblit rose through the ranks of the military justice system to become the military advocate general. He was handpicked by Benjamin Netanyahu to serve as cabinet secretary upon his discharge, and his swift transition from there to attorney general was flagged by some in the legal community. Demonstrators set up weekly outside Mandelblit's home and have been shadowing him for nearly a year, even at his synagogue, to protest what they see as a lack of progress in the multiple corruption investigations against Netanyahu. But as the investigations progressed, a war of words developed between Netanyahu and his supporters and the police. Mandelblit came down firmly on the side of law and order and began to pit him against the prime minister. Now the threats he's receiving require him to have a security detail, and he recently reported the desecration of his father's gravestone. We aren't pursuing anyone, God forbid, only truth and justice. Decisions were made only after interrogations and the law applies to them. Any other consideration will have no effect. Now, with elections set for early April, Mandelblit is feeling the heat from the other side to hold off on announcing whether he intends to indict Netanyahu pending a hearing. So, how might Mandelblit handle the pressure? He is someone who's very laid back, who has a very happy uh, disposition. So, you'd have every reason to think that he can also manage the pressure and don't forget served again in the military and is the military's top lawyer. Not to say that anything that he has done in his life, I would imagine, has quite prepared him for this. Really is at the center of the storm here, as, as all of us can see. If the center of that storm touches down before April 9th, the impact zone will be enormous. Mike Wagenheim, I-24 News.